it's mine. You can't have it. We found it. What have you found? Not dragon stones. I like dragon stones. That's why I came here. However, I found a valuable coin instead. It speaks to me. But you can't have it! It's precious to me! I don't want it. I have something better. What is it? Is it dragon stones? I like dragon stones. Ask it for five. It looks rich. Five? Would it give us five? Yes. I have five dragon stones. Tell you what. I'll trade you them for that coin you found. Yes, yes! We'll trade it for dragon stones. No, we won't. It's too precious. But wow, I like dragon stones. It is trying to trick us. You nasty creature it is. Do not listen to it. But it seems nice enough. I am standing right here, you know. This guy really is crazy. Yes, I'll give you five. Do we have a deal or not? Yes, yes! Thanks for helping me. I'm not sure what would have happened if I had continued to listen to the voices in my head. I took that coin from the stone relief in the crypt of the moon and trapped my friend Odean there in a secret room behind the relief. Could you return the coin to the relief and set him free? Okay, looks like I just got a... Take this stone. Oh, there we, there we go. This altar is super cool. Okay, now we are behind the Crypt of the Moon, and there is Aoden. I wonder what he's doing down here. So he tried to set up a tannery down here because it's closer to the dragons. This is because it's getting harder and harder to compete with all the people using tan leather. So that's why he set up his business down here, and prices are going to be a little bit more than the normal tanners because of the proximity to the red dragons. Oh, you know what? I think this lever here will unlock... Yep, I think that door's unlocked now. So I found this monk down here named Brother Amory, and he's not doing too good. You gotta bring him some food so that he can heal up. Once he was in a better mood, he was able to answer some of my questions about the origins of this temple. Rumor has it that this used to be an ancient religious site that druids would come to to worship the god of the sun, Ralos, and the god of the moon, Ranul. Brother Amory sent me on a quest to find the Tome of the Sun, the Tome of the Moon, and the Tome of the Temple. In the room closest to Brother Amory, I saw a mysterious cauldron surrounded by undead druids. So I decided to go explore the western part of the tunnel. Here I found many other adventurers fighting off the undead druids. Perhaps they were searching for the tomes as well. You definitely want to pray magic against these because they can hit pretty hard. Wait, can you search these bookshelves? Oh, there we go. We got one of them. So we need two more. Oh, there, there's one. There's the first page. Awesome. Okay, I think I'm gonna wait until I get all of the pages, because this probably won't make that much sense until I get them. I decided to explore the eastern part of the dungeon, where I found a dungeon of spiders. Okay, so far I haven't gotten any pages, so I might just keep exploring. But first I'm going to change to Void with the Salve Amulet imbued, because apparently both of them work here. So we're going to have some crazy damage output. So while I was sitting here, I couldn't help but notice that shrine over there, which got me to thinking. What if I kill red dragons instead? This way I'd be able to test out the prayer and crafting experience you'd receive after one hour of training there. And we'll be able to get the pages from the tomes, I believe. So, let's get to it. Whoa, this gives 216 prayer experience? You could literally just camp here for 
Oh, if you're if you're an ultimate Iron Man, this would be so good. And you got the high guy right here. How much how much crafting XP is this? 234. The question is, how much do these alk for? 7k? What? That's so good. Like this isn't my ultimate Iron Man account, but you don't have to leave here. You could just camp here for forever. Alright, so it's about 320 p.m. on the clock now. So that means at 420. We're gonna have one hour at here. Hopefully we can get all the tomb pages, but we'll see. We don't really know what the drop rate is on those yet. And we got some dragon javelin heads. I don't know how many those are, but those out for like 1k each. Oh, we got 10, okay. And whoever worked on this music is a genius. I love it. It really creates this mysterious atmosphere. Oh, we got the key. We got the grubby key. Awesome. This means we can go check out what we can get from the chest to the south. All right, let's uh, let's just go for it. Oh, uh, 15 spaces. Wow, I wonder what is in here. They said the average loot is gonna be about 50K per key, so. Ooh, potato. And that guy's name is Moist Potato. All right, all right. Um, okay. Well, I guess we just got some food. Is that, is that it? Oh, and I guess the potions too. Wait a sec. 200 death runes? Okay, not bad. So we got some supplies for training and 200 death runes. Not bad, not bad at all. I'm just thinking about all the Zaya Iron Man that are gonna use this. Like, they have to be so stoked for this update. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes since we started. I'm getting 42K range, and I'm not using the best setup either. I'm just using just whatever I found in the bank. But the shocking thing to me is that I'm getting 20K prayer XP per hour with this, which for most of us doesn't sound like a lot, but for an ultimate Iron Man, this is crazy because this place does not have that many requirements and you never have to leave. You could literally just sit here in this corner and as long as you have alks and as long as you have and as long as you have alks and threads between the supplies from the grubby chest like you could literally just chill here for like weeks if you wanted to oh damn there's a temple page awesome and as long as you have the level the crafting rates are not that bad actually like 6k 7k xp per hour and that's just with my janky setup like if you have a better setup then you could potentially be making 8k 9k xp per hour in crafting first of all it's better than charter ships because you're making like 30 gp per xp of crafting that you get so yeah that's um that's really good <laughs> so every time i stop the recording i seem to get a page so i'm gonna try that right now okay what is this juju that was back-to-back -back pages right there i don't know how it works but uh, might have to just not record anything. Quick update on the pages. There are 12 total and we just need a total of four more to complete the pages and we're done. We got about 20 minutes on the clock. So hopefully I can get them before time runs out. All right, we got 10 minutes left. So I'm gonna try stopping the recording and see if I can get another page. <laughs> Why does that work? Why does that work? <laughs> oh, that is the Tome of the Sun complete. Uh, we're closing in. We got about five more minutes before our hour is up so we can see the total XP rates for this method. Oh, yep, there it is. I think that's the Tome of the Temple complete. All right, it has been exactly one hour since we started killing red dragons. And what you're looking at in the top left corner are the final XP rates that I got with this setup. Okay, I forgot to move the tracker, so just bear with me. But we started with 220k, so we'll take that out. And then we'll add in the death runes. And we made two, about 300k. 
not bad, that's just pure cash. That was just purely from Alex. And that's after we paid for all the hides to be tanned as well. So really not a bad money making method. And especially for Ultimate Iron Man, it is insane. 300k GP per hour and 20k prayer XP. That is a bargain. Still need to get one more page, so I'm just gonna stay here for a little bit. Whoa, 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 what is this? Where is it? I don't see it in my inventory. Oh, pfft. it's right in front of me. I'm guessing that this unlocks these doors. Yep, I was correct, and I still have the key. Oh, you know what? There's another one on the western side. Nice, okay, so these are permanently unlocked now, I'm assuming. Um, that's pretty nice. It's kind of a throwback to Taverly Dungeon, but you don't need to keep around the dusty key to get back in. So I don't know, I like it. I really like it. And the red dragons are a really nice touch because let's face it, when was the last time you actually killed red dragons? I had a reason to on my pirate account because they dropped the mithril axe, but just for your average player, like I have never gone to red dragons. There's just no point. So it's really nice to see them finally getting some sort of action. Overheat! Oh god, <laughs> I don't have an anti-fire. Bad idea. Oh, please don't die. <laughs> that would be so stupid. Yeah, um, maybe you guys should probably bring some food or like a shield or something. Ooh, hey, we got another one. Let's try not to die. Let's go. <laughs> All right, next chest. Let's just go straight into it. Ten, oh, ten Raynars and some potions and some more potato. Still got one more page left. There's another one. I thought these were a little bit more rare than that. Let's see what we get. 10 toad flax. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> I don't, I mean, I'll take it, but come on. I just want, just give me the page. Yes, yes, there it is. We finished it, we finished the books. All right, so we're just gonna use this last key and some potions, okay. Well, you could indefinitely stay here. That is confirmed. So I was going to read you what was in these tomes, but after reading it myself, I don't think I can share this information with you. If you want to know what's in them, you're gonna have to find the pages yourself. Good luck, and I'm gonna go turn these into the Archaeus Library. Once you complete the tomes, you can turn them into Lagosia, who will graciously accept them. And as a reward, he or she or it will give you an experience lamp for 10,000 XP. Of course, this is going into runecrafting. But I found something else in the Forthos dungeon.